way. Is it soft? It looks soft. So soft. Yeah. I could sleep in it. I know I'm not I'm I'm not allowed to touch people, but I really want to touch your sweater. After we leave, oh. I'll take the sweater off. I'll Thank leave it you. here for a couple days. Thank you. That's you touch, I'll thoughtful. come back, pick it up. <laughs> Sounds great. Touch your sweater it sounds so creepy. Put the <laughs> lotion in the basket. Touch my sweater. <laughs> it's awesome. Wait, I mentioned the Mindy project. So is it true that you used to sneak into her dressing room? Because there's a word for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. You know, Mindy, I always said, lock your doors. When you're around me, <laughs> lock your doors. And a couple times she forgot that. So huh? there were a few times where I would sneak in and I would, I would put on her bra. Oh my God, please tell me you took pictures. I took pictures Great. of it. I took pictures and of it. And then you text her? Because if you put on her bra and you don't take pictures of it, that's really creepy. There yeah. we go, right there. <laughs> there you can see. Look at you, you're so free. I know, I've never felt more. This is how we know you're not a woman. You look happy in a bra. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I don't know why you guys are complaining. That, it felt no, great. That face is what happens when you release them. <laughs> it's like, that, that's, that's what happens there. But I love that you sneak in her. Can we just pictures. keep that background up the whole just time? Just the whole time. Is that okay? It's, guys... it's so great. There's no segue for this. You have three daughters. Yes. Um, <laughs> and one of them is, is friends with Mindy's daughter. So do they play together? Y'all play dates? Yeah. They, I mean, it's been a little bit different with, with you know, COVID, COVID and yeah. everything. But we do do play dates. And... When you go to Mindy's house for a play date, it's like it's like the biggest place that you've ever seen, and there's oh. like games and toys everywhere. And then you come to when kids come to my house, it's like <laughs> You're like we have a slip and slide. Yeah, no, no, we have a hose. Go I hose know, off well, in the backyard. With a slip and slide, they're yeah, very cheap. I think I have one Capri Sun around here that you guys can all split. <laughs> You're gonna take a sip, and then you, and then you. It's very good for COVID times. Very good. <laughs> well, we have different and, straws, yeah. so you know. How. I love that. I love that. Um, so wait, what's your favorite thing to do with your kids? Well, they, they're already at the age, as three girls, where yeah. they are very independent, and dad is already kind of not so cool. I'm not cool either. Right I'm now. not it's cool. my seven year I embarrass her. Amongst my friends, my grown up friends, I'm super cool. My little <laughs> daughters are like, you're a loser. Yeah. But um, there's, we like to read. Yeah. And there's one book that the eight year old, the five year old, and the three year old all agree on. It's a little book called River Rose. And the Magic Lullaby. What? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I've read this book many, many times. I'm so sorry. I've read the books. Uh, th yeah, the ones they like, you have to read over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. But we will read it, and then, and then the little one just taps and goes, again. So a lot of people come in, they love your music, and they love, and I, I love that too, but I love <laughs> River Rose. Oh, and my God. Yes, thank you for clapping. Thank you. And I was wondering, this is a little crazy. I got a copy of it. Our copy is very torn. I bought a new copy at okay. a bookstore. Okay, at a bookstore. At a bookstore. We support local businesses. We support local businesses. Yeah. And I was wondering if you would sign it. I will. I totally will. Now, yes. I came to the studio last night before anyone got here. I, sl I slipped it under your you chair. You really like breaking and entering. I do. Yeah. I have a big problem. So if you, it's under your chair. Can you just oh. stand up here? Oh, yes. Yeah, I thought this would be fun. Here, look at this. Oh. Security <laughs> guards. The security guards chased me for two hours last night. Say. Harry at the front chased me. He did. Oh, my um, God. So what I was thinking, if I was able to come home okay. with a signed copy of this. They're going to love you. Rockstar dad. Okay, okay, okay. Look, watch this. I got you. Go. Look at this. Thank you. I got you. Thank you. This is how you da good dads are made. Okay, okay. So wait, who do I make it out to? So what are the, what are the names again? You know what? Just make it out to Ike. <laughs> Just make it out to Ike. Because uh, I'll tell you why. Because then, then, then they're not going to fight over it. That way it's in my it. name. And then it's, yeah. it's dad's totally. book that we all share. Not because you're the fan. Just not because, yeah. To Ike. Okay, Ike. Okay. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. You this are, is my favorite thing. You're a shining star. Okay, follow your dreams. You are a shining star. And um, <laughs> you have a lot of friends and are super cool. Last thing I'm asking. Star, smiley face. That's it. And then, you then, have, then just your name. Oh, just my name. Just my name. You already okay. wrote a book. Okay, okay. You already wrote a book. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. I should have put Ike and others. <laughs> no, 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 just Ike, thank you. This one's for me, I thank love you. that, I love that. Oh my gosh, yeah, so work. here's the funny thing, and you have, you have multiple children, so you'll understand this. It was a really cute idea when I was pregnant with my one child, <laughs> and now my son is like, where's my book? Yeah, and oh, I'm like, yeah. um, it's on, I'm writing it, like, right now. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I'm it's actually called writing it. River Rose mm -hmm. and the Frozen oh, Pizza. Remy B. and his adventures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I literally think I'm going to just make one up so I can give it to him at Christmas or something. Because he doesn't understand. 
he feels like, yeah, like the last child, like that just doesn't matter. Yeah, my mom yeah. wrote two, you know, a book for the other kid. I don't get one. I know. I don't I get know. a New York Times bestseller. You, I know. I'm like, I'll write you a song. Because <laughs> I also wrote a song while I was pregnant with my daughter that was on my album. <laughs> you gotta step it up. I, I've gotta step it up for All Remy right. B. What is the after party about and who do you play? The after party is a murder mystery on Apple TV, um, but it's a comedy. And wow. the kind of, the conceit is each episode is in, told from the point of view of one of the suspects. Yeah. And each of their points of view is in a certain movie genre. So Sam Richardson, he's in love with this girl, Zoe, and his kind of episode is like a rom-com. My episode is, uh, I'm kind of like the cool guy in high school who's now like a sad, like middle-aged guy. Like you peaked in high school? I peaked in high school, <laughs> it's happened before. Not me, Not I'm, me. I'm about to peak, I feel <laughs> yeah. like. Um, uh, the precipice. And, <laughs> and his, uh, his episode is kind of told in the style of an action movie. Okay. So each episode feels like its own little movie, but it kind of all tells the story of this great whodunit. That's brilliant. Really cool, it's directed by Chris Miller and Phil Lord, who did like the Lego movie. Yeah, it's so the, great. Uh, 21 Jump Street, so oh my gosh. super fun. If you like mysteries, you're gonna love it, but if you like comedy with, with funny people doing uh, stupid things, you're also gonna be happy. Yeah, this is right up my alley. It's right so there. I love too that it's, so, it's not only from different vantage points, it's different like takes on yes. a movie. That's yes. so clever. Yeah, well the whole thing is everyone, wow. in, in everyone's mind, we're all the stars of our own movie. And what totally. genre is yours? Are you a musical? Are you film noir? Are you like a gritty indie? I love so that. So he kind of just fashioned the whole show based on that. That's a brilliant concept. Really um, cool. Wait, so we were talking about high school. So in high school, did you ever get caught doing anything that you shouldn't? I feel like you were maybe a prankster. I was a bit of a prankster. Okay, that's bit of not a prankster. shocking. Um, uh, I remember for our prom one year, I was like, guys, I figured out a foolproof plan. I'm gonna get the alcohol, right? Oh my God. So I placed this big order at a liquor store and I just used my grandfather's name because he wasn't, he was, he was, he had passed away. He so, wasn't gonna use it. So he wasn't coming to get any liquor. He was yeah. not gonna come to nope. claim it. He, I mean, he was passed away 10 years before that. Yeah. And so I went there and I found someone to go in and buy it for us. And then like a month later, my dad was like, hey, I ran into my friend Fred who owns the uh, liquor store. And he said my dad came in and ordered a bunch of Zima. <laughs> uh, which is funny because my dad didn't like Zima and he died in 1986. <laughs> oh so my god! I got in a little bit of trouble for that one. You live in too small of a town. Chicago? Then he knew, I know, but he, or your family frequents the liquor store. I was gonna <laughs> say, I think I we're like, shining light, a fog is wait. lifting. I was like, wait. I was My dad's like, like, I was at the liquor store again this morning and. Uh, I was saying hi to everyone I know there. <laughs> I was just in the parking lot uh, having a drink out of the But even bag. if you're from Chicago, you all have your little, like, we your do. little neighborhood. Also, yeah. Chicago is very provincial. Like, Chicago, people do know each other in Chicago. It's, it's a huge See? city, but it is weird. So you were right. It wasn't a weird thing to say. <laughs> I. <laughs> it's like a, it's a metropolitan. <laughs> Metropolis. It's fine. I can't speak. Okay, wait. Is it true that at one point you wanted to become a politician? I did. I did because I, I feel my, like you're too funny. I, you know, it's it's. Uh, well, now I don't, I wouldn't want to, but back then I remember I would go on election day. My dad was friends with politicians. I remember, this is Chicago, so they're probably all in jail right now. <laughs> um, but I just remember on election day uh, being taken aback by how many snacks there were. There was donut holes and M&Ms and no craft service. Yeah. And I was like, I want to be in a business where there is a <laughs> little designated snack area. You did that. And I did it. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I'm you here. did that. I'm here. I, I just had some graham it. crackers backstage. Delicious. <laughs> what of it? Um, no, I love it. It's so funny, though. I'm just like, usually politicians are very serious and don't have yes. a sense of humor or don't show it. Yes. So I was that like, you true. would be maybe a politician I'd vote for. <laughs> It's not too late. Maybe and that's if what we're you missing. guys want me to run for California governor, show me a round of applause right now. <laughs> okay. There's no one here. There's no we'll, one we'll pipe in the sound. Here. We'll sweeten the sound in post. We'll sweeten in post. Oh my God, you're so funny. <laughs> There's no audience. Okay. Um, so wait, if you ran for office, would you be worried about what dirt, like would they come up? Do you have dirt? Do you have I, I, skeletons? I don't have a lot of dirt. I was on Mad TV for many years. I, I've been in movies where I've been in various states of undress. I went through a bunch of my photos and I was like, I should just dump some of these just because they're not even like scandalous per se. Okay. But I just don't know what they are. And I was just like, I'll just dump them. And I, I do you guys want to, do you want to? So you took the power, you took the control. I took the power. I'm not going to let someone hack into my photos and leak these exactly. photos. I'm going to be presenting them to you guys here today. See? 
You're owning it. Can we, can, okay. Can, can, guys, the, can, okay. the band, can we get a little sting or something? Can yeah, get, it's time for a photo dump with Ike Barinholtz. Let's get like a nice little kind of like a boom, 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 photo dump. <laughs> I need a band. I need a band. I need a band. I need a band. I think you are in a band right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, you guys. The Baron Holtzes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay, wait. What's the first one? Let's see. First one, what do we got? What do we got first, here? First photo well, dump. It's this the is Kelly it. Clarkson I took a photo show. of the. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is um, this is our dog, Pico. Okay. And my daughters, as we discussed, they love the Disney princesses. They yes. love those. So they gave him a princess makeover. Do you think Pico likes it? Pico hated it. <laughs> Pico hated it and, and uh, just gave me a look, you know, yeah. like I'm descended from the North American gray wolf. <laughs> and here I am. You're making a mockery of, of my lineage. So, so I got rid they of that are. one. Um, okay, wait. Do you have another one? I have Can another one. one. Can we see the okay. second one? Okay. What is this? Wait. Okay. Hey, I'm a fan. I'm a fan too. Yeah. There's a photo of me and a younger Harry Styles right there. Yeah. I have no memory of this photo. Yeah. I don't know where it was taken. This might have been coming out of a blackout. Yeah, yeah. Um, but regardless, I tell my kids that I'm friends with Harry Styles. I, I love that. I just saw his show. It, he was incredible. Ooh, I know. He's in. Anyway, I was very excited. OK, one more. One more. What do we got here? Oh, OK, so this is this. I is, love this. This is my Bissell steam cleaner. And I took If you it, have children or dogs, you need this. You need a steam cleaner. Yeah. And the good folks at Bissell make one that's top of the line for Yes, I have Easy it. to use, easy to clean. Yes. Warranty available. Yeah, sure. We just throw that out there. Just, I don't know. Just, we just say things. I, I just say things. But <laughs> before I started cleaning, I noticed that that really looks like one of the helmets to Daft Punk. <laughs> and so I spent a while taking a photo shoot of it oh. and various things. And then... Oh my God. It kind of does. You could yes. see that in a French rave yes. somewhere. But I figured I should lose it for my photo roll just in case. Okay. So I'm clean now. I'm able to run for it. And you're also helping people out because that will get a stain out is that, all I'm saying. It's not yes. just like you spilled coffee. This is paint. This is... Dog it gets, vomit. Uh, dog vomit. Yeah. Human vomit. It doesn't matter. My the <laughs> folks at Bissell are going to make They're gonna that rug look good as new, folks. <laughs> We I, should be a sponsor. We should. Are they not already? What are we I doing know, here? I love it. I Leaving love it. money on the table. <laughs>